Welcome to this episode of Green Rider's Gear Review. Today we're going to be talking about Cat Eye, provided for us by GH Speed Bikes. Thanks, GH Speed Bikes! So, to start off, let's talk a little bit about this Reflex Auto Rear Light. The Cat Eye Reflex Auto Rear Light has a bunch of different settings for different kinds of lights when it turns on. I think the battery might be dead. I'm not gonna blame the light for that one. What I am gonna blame the light for though, is that it has a tendency when I reach around to turn it on for the red bit on the front to pop off for the little waterproof lining to kind of come out of line and for sometimes for the batteries to fall on the ground, um, which is kind of frustrating. Um, other than that, it attaches the bike well. It's plenty bright. No cars have run into me from behind, so so far so good. Pretty much does its job, but maybe that's a little design improvement they could think about. What do you have for us, Kenny? I would like to talk about the Cat Eye Adventure Cyclo Computer. I really like it because it tells me to sleep most of the time. But when I decide to ride my bike, I've been using the basic features, which are kilometers per hour, kilometers per day. Are there any other features you like, Jamie? I like the altitude feature in theory. I like that it could tell us what altitude we were at. We would have had to have at some point known which altitude we were at to set it, because at the moment, I am several hundred meters higher than you are. I'm not sure if you could tell. Sometimes that's a problem. Overall, I like it, and I would use it again. I think it's a pretty solid cycle computer, and I recommend it. Definitely. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. So this is the Cat Eye Inno. <laughs> now, this is a really, it's an interesting little concept, this piece, and uh, I really wanted to give this one a try. Um, it's a camera. It has both still and video functions. It also has a kick-ass griffin attached to the front, but we're not going to talk about that now. Um, and what makes this different from, uh, from other cameras that you could use attached to bikes is that this one has an integrated GPS. So in theory, uh, when you take a photo, when you take a video, it records the GPS location of that, and at the end of the day, when you upload your content to the Inno website, it will generate a map for you locating all those photos and videos along the way. Um, you can set it for a time-lapse sort of function where it takes one image every minute, or there are various intervals you can set, and then at the end of the day, you'll have this little slideshow, minute by minute, of what your day looked like. Two problems with that. One, Clicking through a slideshow of every minute of the day biking down the road is not that compelling. Two, um, the batteries actually are not like an integrated high capacity rechargeable. It takes two AAA batteries, which we've been using rechargeables for, but we find it lasts about six hours. So a lot of our biking days exceed six hours. Um, what I was really hoping that this product would do, and I don't think it would be a big leap for it to get there, would be for you to be able to upload the, the minute by minute stills of your day, and for instead of generating a slideshow, for it to generate a time-lapse video. Um, because we've, we've gone through the extra step of taking out all those images and putting them into some video software and generating a time-lapse, which is pretty cool. But uh, really, I think that the, the software side of the website should just be able to do that for you. So. Really cool idea, maybe one or two steps towards improvement, but I think they're on the right path. Could be something cool. Well, what Jamie, else that's a very intriguing review. I'm glad you're intrigued. I would like to review the Cat Eye Roll, which is a rechargeable mounted light that you can put on your handlebars, <coughs> and it's very bright. One of my favorite functions is the strobe, which I tend to like because if I'm in the mood for a disco, sometimes at night we just hang this up in our room and we have Green Riders Disco. I we think don't. it is pretty good if you want oncoming traffic to see you, and I think the bright light is good for finding your way at night. If you find yourself in Indonesia cycling down dark roads that aren't well lit, I really recommend the Cat Eye Roll. So far, nobody has hit us from the front either, so it's been doing its job. That was an intriguing review, Kenny. Very good. Thanks, Thanks very Jamie. much. Thanks, GH Speed Bikes. Thanks, Cat Eye. A plus. <clears throat> I hope it recorded.